going on YouTube? Kurt S7 here for the review of United vs Newcastle on Boxing Day at Old Trafford. Yes lads, Manchester United, we won 3-0 on Boxing Day in a pretty convincing performance, but for me, uh, there's still a lot to improve, so yes, it was a good game, solid game, you know, but it, it, how can I say, in, in one way I'm really happy that we went and we dominated against Newcastle, but I seen the defensive errors early on and it could have gone either way at the start, but in saying this lads, I'm not going to be picky because... This time last year, we were dropping points uh, left, right, and center under David Moyes. Now, we are consistently grinding out results. We're getting wins on the board under Louis Van Gaal, and I can't complain. If we're going to win ugly, I'd rather win ugly than drop a few points and play beautiful. So, you know, credit goes to Louis Van Gaal. We are grinding out the points, and it looks like, lads, we are going to finish in the top four. I don't want to jinx us yet. But we are on track so far to make the top four. Anyways, uh, Newcastle today, they were um, they, they were average, let's be honest. They didn't have their best side. For me, they were missing their best player in Czech Teote. He is a midfield uh, boss, and especially for Newcastle. If he's not in the squad, then there's a good chance you're going to beat him. And that's exactly what they missed out on today. They needed Teote in the middle, bossing Mata and Rooney. And they had no one. They had Anita. You know, Anita, no disrespect to Anita, but sorry, mate, you you know Czech Teote, so put it that way. So, uh, and, and they had Adam Armstrong, who's like 17 years old, you know, he's 5'5", five five, you know, so making his um, second game, I think, for the club. You know, it's to go out at Old Trafford, 75,000, you know, people at Old Trafford, you know, it's a, it's... It's an atmosphere that you probably never forget, and it's, you know, come on, seriously, Padre, you're playing him up front? Come on now, <laughs> let's be honest. We sh United, we should be beating teams like this. But anyways, lads, I'm not going to take away from us, because what we did, in, in my personal opinion, it was two halves of Manchester United. There was the front half and the back half. I still believe that the back half, lads, we are very average. Now, we had McNair, Jones, and uh, Evans. McNair played in the back, in the middle of the back three, which was, um, I was happy that Louis Van Gaal gave him uh, the initiative at the back, but in saying that, Johnny Evans, man, he's just, I like him, what he's done for the club, he's been around for United for ages, but I think it's time for Johnny Evans to part ways in the, uh, in the summer, not in January, in the summer. I just don't think he is Manchester United quality. He is part of the dead wood that we need to go. Um, he just looks so uncomfortable in the ball, and normally that's his best, best attribute. You know, he's comfortable in the ball, but I don't know, Johnny Evans. Uh, for me, uh, Phil Jones was solid, as usual, besides giving away the penalty right at the end. But, you know, he's, he's I wouldn't say he's 100% match fitness, you know, sharp, you know what I mean? So, I can excuse that, we'll 3-0 up, so I'm happy. He played very well, but he made a lot of forward runs. And good for Paddy McNair to get back into the team after being subbed off against um, a few weeks ago. So, he came back, he looks good as well. And our win backs for me, we're excellent today. Uh, Valencia, fantastic. We had uh, Ashley Young, who was superb, and for me, almost one of the, the players for uh, Man of the Match. He was superb in the middle. But then, like I said, there was the front half. There was one matter. Veronel Falcao, Robin Van Persie, mate, Wayne Rooney. What a deadly, you know, four players we got right there. And those four players pretty much won us the game. One matter was superb today. And uh, to be honest, when you play Newcastle, they always struggle against number 10s, and I knew it. I knew it today when Mata and Rooney were going to dominate. I just knew it. It's exactly what happened. First goal, uh, Mata played, I think it was Mata, played a lovely ball to Falcao, who got on the end of it. What a little, little cross to uh, Wayne Rooney, who really couldn't miss that. What a lovely goal. Second goal come through a beautiful through ball from Mata. He was oh, superb today, Juan Mata. Uh, Wayne really, really, really couldn't miss that, and uh, we go 2-0 up in, what, 20 minutes or something like that? And even then, I just knew, ah, this game is over, you know? So, uh, so we go into halftime, 2-0 um, up. Then after halftime, lads, I, I just knew play would be resumed. It was just going to be, we're just going to walk over him. That's pretty much what happened. But I tell you what, Wayne Rooney's ball to Robin Van Persie was unbelievable! Perfect, and what a run for Robin Van Persie, and what a finish with that header. 3-0 up, game done and dusted, and Van Halen knew it. He took off Michael Carrick, who was superb. 
Michael Carrick is so underrated for us, it's not even funny. We are a different side when we don't have Michael Carrick in that starting 11. He is so important. Louis Van Howe knows that. Took him off, wants to rest him because we've got Tottenham on Sunday. Uh, took off Antonio Valencia and Raphael came back, which was, for me, Raphael is our best defender. So good to see Raphael back. So happy to have him back. And we also had Wilson come on for uh, Radamel Falcao because I know Louis Van Gaal wants to rest Radamel for the game against Tottenham. So yeah, lads, we got Tottenham on Sunday. Another big game to watch. It's probably literally going to be like 48 hours after the Newcastle game, which is... Mate, crazy when you think about it. I don't think there's going to be any training sessions in between. But lads, we still got good players to come back. Daily Blind, uh, Fellaini. Uh, we still got Di Maria didn't play in this game. And Nanyanaze, you know, we still got to come back. So we got plenty of players to come back into the squad. And the Herrera, he is massive. There's still room for improvement. Uh, lads, I still believe we're going to have inconsistent results come the way on to the end of the season. But lads, if we keep, you know, what's that? In our last seven games, what, we've won six and drawn one? Or something crazy like that? Something, you guys can let me know down in the comments below. It's something crazy like that. But lads, I am complaining. Three points. If we can come out the other side of January, um, you know, without a loss, we are going to be on our way to top four football, which we want this season. But anyways, lads, that's the end of my review of the Newcastle game. Please, to be sure, give this video a thumbs up. It would be much appreciated from me. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those wonderful things which you can find in the link in the description. Uh, yes, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Stay tuned for the Tottenham review. Take care. Oh, boots.